It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. No, no, this place is actually kind of charming. It's got walls all the way around and, well, that thing. Yeah, like I said, this is a pretty cool place. Hey, Javi. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. In the middle of all that. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure, you know, they'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. What should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Wonder if it's loaded. Play your hand. You're gonna lose, but you don't have to do it in slow motion. Don't try and rush me. <laughs> I know your game. This is my game. Clearly. Always a smart ass. Well, it ain't gonna work. Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves. I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20-year career. The way I see it, nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. <laughs> and that got a lifetime ban? You want an autograph or something? <laughs> if I had a baseball, I'd take you up on it. But I'm fresh out. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm, <clears throat> don't get too intimidated. I lose more often than I care to admit. He's bluffing. He's got bullshit written all over. <laughs> Is that a fact? All right, I think I'll listen to the man. Call. Moment of truth. Flip them. Oh my. Ain't that a pretty sight. Good looking hand there. But not good looking enough. God damn it. Shit, sorry. And thanks for playing. Let me get you a drink for the assist. On the house. Ooh. Bottoms up. Wow, oh, man, this smells like turpentine <laughs> that's the weak stuff don't turn away from me i'm talking to you oh shit hey what's the point in talking when i already told you a deal is a deal and it's done what's going on this guy ripped me off i traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire he could have gotten both of us killed oh yeah and yeah, who the fuck are you a bodyguard or something because I don't scare easy, all right? She doesn't need a bodyguard. She can take care of herself. Believe me. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Unfucking believable. Look out! <laughs> Listen, let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. 
That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus. You gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. Boy, you have it wrong, buddy. I don't control her. Which looks like bad news for you. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so, hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because... Shut it! You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking... What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self-defense. Enough from you. Did she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Whoa! Okay, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. You got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. I oughta punch your fucking lights out. Both of ya. But Eli was a grade-A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um... That was cool of you. I wasn't sure there for a minute. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just... don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. The trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage. Like you're some feral animal. Javier. Pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. Yeah. Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> I'll give you that one. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? That guy had it coming. Believe me. Karma, justice, you call it whatever you want. But fuck that bastard. Hey. Okay, if you say so. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... I know a thing or two about losing family. If you really want to help me, let us out of this cage. Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right, here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms and on my timeline. You got me? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they could need a medic. No, -uh, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call.
Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but... Well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. Something tells me Trip won't be too happy about you sneaking us out the back door. He'll get pissy, but he'll get over it. Sometimes with him, you gotta ask for forgiveness rather than permission. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah, she's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. You're right. Trip's got more muscle, just in case. We'll wait and get a ride with him. Glad you're finally listening to reason. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. It's gonna be a while before that herd passes. We might as well get some sleep. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. 